right, so let me give you an overview of how the connector works. So to get this connector up and running, we just need two configurations to be done in Dynamics 365. The first is an Azure service principle for Zora. This helps with establishing the connection and authentication to your D365 tenant. In the data management module here, we create data projects for both imports and exports. This controls what data entities like sales orders, invoices, and journals are exposed to Zora revenue. So the complete control is maintained in this data management module. So uh, in Zora revenue now, under data interface, you'll see a link for Dynamics 365. In the settings page, uh, we capture the Azure service principle details of your Dynamics tenant. And with just a couple of clicks, you are all set with establishing the connection between these two systems. Also, you can even check the status of your connection at any time using this test connection option. Moving on to the data projects tab here, you'll see how Zora captured the data projects created in the Dynamics data management module, along with their IDs and how we maintain the mapping between Zora Revenue's target fields and the order objects of Dynamics. So for example, you'll see here how the sales order name in Dynamics maps to the customer name listed on Zora Revenue. The sales order currency code you see here from Dynamics also maps to the transaction currency used in Zora. And then finally, on the sync page, you'll be able to trigger the import and export jobs either on an ad hoc or scheduled basis. And your IT super users here can even identify variances and manage exceptions between Dynamics and Zora to really help drive faster completeness checks free of errors. So as you can see, you can get this connector up and running in no time. Let's now jump into a quick demo of Zora Revenue where we'll start the process off by ingesting a sales order from Dynamics that turns into a revenue contract in Zora. So we'll use uh, Dynamics, the Dynamics 365 order number 000724 from the Birch company here for a reference. Let's now go back into the connector and import our Dynamics sales order into Zora Revenue. And as the job completes here, giving it a couple seconds, um, you're gonna see on the bottom now how we've imported 5,956 records into Zora. And going up uh, and using the filter, you can actually now see how the Birch Company's two order lines are included in these records. So going to Zora Revenue, you'll see how order number 000724 has automatically now turned into a revenue contract, showing two order lines here that total to $37,200 in value. So let's now take a look at how the revenue accounting entries from Zora Revenue are transferred back to the Dynamics General Ledger. We've created an accounting transfer batch here in Zora Revenue that's in the ready to transfer status. And this is the accounting that has been generated where you'll see how we're transferring the accounting data for these two accounts uh, that amount to $37,200. And then we go back to the Dynamics 365 tab and submit this data from Zora Revenue down to the Dynamics 365 general ledger. So as this job processes, we can simply refresh the page and wait just a second to see how the first line under history is going to show its completion. You can now see on the first line how the transfer batch status got updated to transferred. It's now completed. And if we go back to the transfer accounting batch, the two specific entries are actually shown here in the summary page. 